A state machine is a mathematical model that describes the behavior of a system that can only be in one state at any given time. In this video, we'll share what you should know about state machines before deciding to use them in your next project. State machines are basically just a specification of how to handle events. It has a set of possible states, and for each state, we list the events that are significant in that state. For each of those states, we define the new state of the system. You got it? Great, let's keep going. A good way to understand state machines is by comparing their mental model to Redux. Here's what Redux does. Given the current state and an action, you get the new state of the application. On the other hand, here's how state machines work. Given the current state and an event, we transition to a new state, run effects to update the extended state. This serves as a powerful tool for codifying business rules. All the possible application states and their relationships are declared upfront, so the application can only be in a state you defined. The effects are then used to perform changes to the extended state. Now, a key difference between the Redux and state machine model is that in Redux, the state includes both the data the application is operating on and the data that describes the current application status. Whereas state machines do not treat those as the same. Finite states describe the current application state, while extended state represents the data the application is operating on. Now, one challenge you might encounter is that as requirements get more complex, the state machine definition can grow by introducing new states and transitions. This can eventually create a maintenance problem. Luckily, we have tools to manage these cases. State charts. These provide parallel and nested states, and you can even link several state machines together. This way, we keep each machine responsible for a portion of the whole. Now, there are several more pros and cons to using state machines in production, and we go into a lot more detail in our blog. Check out the link in the description below. Oh, and hey, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when we post new videos.